Bonjour mes amis. Here is a 10 minute tour of Avignon. So this is probably where you're gonna start your adventure, at the Avignon Sauve uh, train station. Now, remember there's two train stations in Avignon. One is a TGV, which is the fast train, and that's about a 45 minute walk that way. So uh, if you book your, your train tickets, you wanna book them directly to Avignon Sauve, because then you're right here, right downtown. So we're about to take the 10 minute tour, starting with walking through these big gates. After that 10 minute walk, you're in the main square. So here you are in the middle of uh, downtown Avignon. This is the center of the city. This is the, the Place d'Horloge. Uh, the Horloge is over here. And you can see it is uh, packed with people today because it's a gorgeous day. But these are where all the, uh, the outdoor cafes are and uh, uh, the Papal Palace is that way. The shopping, uh, as well as the market, is down that road. The, the hip shopping is down that way. And of course, the Papal Palace is right up that way. This, of course, is the piazza of the uh, Papal Palace, right? Say that three times fast. Check it out, it's a huge space. It's really starting to get busy. And of course, you'll want to visit the palace in here, get your tickets in advance, um, but if you wanna do something for free, you wanna head up with me up the hill towards the cathedral. The best view of the Pont d'Avignon is right here. Uh, it's just up. This trail um, from the cathedral. Just walk up here and you get a fantastic view of the pond. A little further and you'll get a fantastic view of the uh, west side of the city. From this sunny spot, you can see the castle of Villeneuve and the tower, and of course the rest of the river. If you head southwest from the top of the park, you can come to this section right here, which you can walk down these gnarly stairways and across pretty much the only part of the rampart you could walk on nowadays, and even head into that to watchtower and take a spiral staircase right down to the bottom. It's very cool and it's completely free. Once you get down the hill, of course, you can go onto the Pont d'Avignon through this entrance. Uh, I think it's a five euro fee. It's one of the coolest things is how often you can find one of these entrances into the walls and just go through them. I don't know why I like it so much, but I think it's pretty cool.
course, what else is free is walking down these cool Avignon styled streets. around Avignon is pretty easy because most of these side streets are pedestrian only, blocked off by these things. Now, there'll still be cars coming around and the locals um, can make these things go down and drive through, so you just want to be careful. At this corner, uh, this is where all the shops start. You can go that way, you can go that way, or you can go this way. Check it. Once you're done the gift shopping, you can head down to the market, which is right at the edge of the street, and uh, buy all the fresh produce and food. You can imagine all great local stuff from Cross. Or you could just say screw it and find one of the many uh, piazzas out there full of cafes. Just get yourself some. So yeah, there you go. There's the city in a nutshell, small little nutshell. Uh, I would recommend um, you checking out the place for yourself, but uh, hopefully that gives you some idea of the stuff that you can do. So with that, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, I would love it if you could subscribe. I'd love it a like, I'd love a comment. I love reading those in the morning. Thank you so much uh, for everyone who's leaving the comments. Night everyone.